Gather around the table once again for another session of Dungeons and Drakfus, and today we take on a very historical place in WoW lore, uh, more infamous than famous. We are going to be going into one of the two instances that make up the former city of Stratholm. Now, for those who don't know uh, the importance of Stratholm, if you played Wrath of the Lich King, then there was another instance that explains it, but basically this was the first step in Prince Arthas's fall to darkness as he culled the city uh, from the undead crisis that was happening in Lordaeron at the time. The then Lordaeron. Now we're in the Plaguelands. Uh, but let's go ahead and read the lore for the place so you guys can get a little bit more on it. And let's see. So like I said, this place is divided into two separate uh, portions. One used to be called the Live Side and actually was primarily a Scarlet Crusade kind of instance. Now that Live Side isn't necessarily live anymore. It's it's all teeming with undead, but there's a nice new twist to it with uh, with Cataclysm as, as Stratholm did get revamped uh, in the Cataclysm to be able to reflect that. The second wing of it is <clears throat> actually what used to be a shortcut, but now is called or used to be called the Dead Side, where it was all undead all the time. And in fact, the infamous uh, Baron Rivendare used to be there as well, so you could get his mount. Uh, but we'll be taking that on tomorrow. Today we're taking on the what's now called the Stratholm Main Gate, but it's formerly known as Liveside. So here is the lore of Stratholm. Stratholm was once the jewel of Northern Lordaeron, but today it is remembered for its harrowing fall to ruin. It was here that Prince Arthas turned his back on the noble paladin Uther the Lightbringer, slaughtering countless residents believed to be infected with the horrific plague of undeath. Ever since, uh, ever since Kurt's, cursed Stratholm has been marred by death, betrayal, and hopelessness. And we're going to go ahead and step into the live side. Let's go ahead and get started. There's quite a number of bosses actually to take on, and most of them are like bonus bosses. So we're going to try and take on as many of them as we can, but obviously there are some quests that we need to take on. <coughs> so, starting with... The Great Frasiabi. A nice little reference to Alex of Frasiabi. Menesfar's Kultiris spoke of the legendary Frasiabi's premium tobacco. It was a delicacy enjoyed by very, uh, by every single person in importance that visited Stratholm. King Terranus, Uther the Lightbringer, High Lord Fordring. Yes, they all enjoyed Siabi's specialty. Sadly, Frost stayed in his shop when Stratholm was invaded, sweating all his life that the Scourge would never touch his tobacco. Venture forth and see if, it, uh, see if even one bit remains here. It is worth its weight in gold, I assure you. So we oh, have to look yeah. for some premium tobacco. And we also have one from Master Craftsman Wilhelm. Here they are. Or Wilhelm. Weapons, armor. They are the key to victory. Any warrior, no matter how strong, is essentially defenseless without them. I have crafted many a legend in my day, Blood Elf. You will find nothing like them in all of Azeroth. They are the key to my brethren's success. Okay, cutting the competition. Look, I'm not a, I'm not about to play games with you. The Scarlet Crusade's Crimson Hammersmith was nothing worth mentioning uh, before, but now that their Balnazar's risen, the damned Dreadlord has caught them... Uh, has taught him to make all sorts of powerful demonic weaponry. It's simple. Find his, their blacksmithing plans and kill the risen Hammersmith when he comes for them. So that we can make sure their army doesn't get, in, uh, doesn't get their hands on the demon armaments that are powerful enough as it is. So that's the, the twist, is that um, we're going to be dealing with the Dreadlord Bra Balnazar, who originally like was one of the, the Dreadlords in charge of Lordaeron after it became the Plaguelands. And in fact, if you've been playing Legion, he actually shows up in the Ashbringer uh, questline because he tries to take you over. Uh, but yeah, we, we've seen Balnazar come back from time to time. Uh, I have a feeling that we're going to see more of him in this, but yeah, good. the trick here is, is that this used to be former Scarlet Crusade, which Balnazar is kind of primarily responsible for corrupting the Scarlet Crusade and making them as maddened with killing the undead as they, did, as they were. Uh, by, imper uh, by impersonating a, a, I believe it was Gavinrod that he, no, it was, um, oh, I can't remember his name, but he is one of the, the main paladins of the Silver Hand, and, oh, crap, what is it? Satan Dathrahan, that's, that's who he, that's who he impersonated, but now he's risen them again as undead, but they all believe that they're human, 
So that's going to be the interesting trick here. And then we also have Crusader Commander Elagor Dawnbringer. The Brotherhood of the Light transcends the ability of any other group to eradicate affronts to the light. We will take any action necessary to rid the world of foul beasts like these undead. Nothing will stand in our way. Are you with us or against us? I'm totally with you because I love this judgment set, man. And he has three quests. The Dreadlord Balnazar. <coughs> with the fall of the Scarlet Crusade, their disguised demon leader Balnazar released the possessed body of Grand Crusader Dathrahan and went on a, rath uh, went on a rampage, killing every remaining crusader here. He then used his necromantic power to raise them all as vile undead slaves. Balnazar refuses, or refers to his new army as the Risen. We cannot let him grow his army. They are extremely powerful and unlike Arthas' scourge, Balnazar will not hold his forces back. Kill him while we still have a chance, monk. Okay, yeah. So he's like the final boss in the area. And then we also have uh, Of Love and Family. Inside the Scarlet Bastion is a painting of great personal value to High Lord Tyrion Forgering. Search for a painting of our twin moons. Chip away at the paint until you recover the master work of love and family. May the light guide your actions, and please handle the painting with the utmost care. Okay. Then we also have... Uh, let's see. Retribution. Where Market Row meets Festival Lane, you will encounter the Unforgiven. If you slay the entirety of Crusader Square... You will coax out Timmy the Cruel. Both of these former champions committed heinous, heinous acts against innocence here in the name of gaining unholy power. You must destroy both of them and rid Stratholm of their foul presence. Take caution, for they were powerful fighters in life, and their new dark powers will only have made them even more deadly. Okay, so we need to kill these guys as well. Let's go ahead and get things started. So this used to be like one of the main hubs of Lordaeron. And now we're going to be coming into its f basically the husk of what it was. Because it's nothing but undead now. And more importantly, in specific uh, places, it is strictly Scourge or it is Risen. This new faction that has been made by Balnazar. I remember going into this place the first time, and I actually wasn't able to find a... Since it was Burning Crusade, nobody was really running it, and we didn't have a, an LFG system at that point. And it was actually disheartening to walk in here because I knew the lore of Stratholm. Um, after actually, like, for nostalgia reasons, playing through uh, the fir or Warcraft 3 all over again. And just seeing how decimated this place is now is still kind of sad to, to watch. You know, like, this used to be a very powerful city center. And Arthas just destroys it in an instant. Uh, let's see. So we have one up here, and I believe it's the the uh, tobacco. So we need to take care of that. Free! Take care of you. And we have a guy over here. Uh, it's just a Stratholm courier. So let's go ahead and take care of him. Crap, he's broken. Okay. There we go. Nope. Oh no, Frostyabi! Welcome to Flavor Country. <laughs> I actually like how they say that. And yeah, so again, it's a reference to Alex of Frostyabi, who, uh, if you like the lore for Legion, I believe he is primarily responsible for all of it. So, there we go. We have the Siabi's premium tobacco. Only the best, because we are in flavor country, baby. Now, we're also going to be checking the post boxes, because that actually opens up yet another quest. No tampering with the mail! I don't care. I'm going to tamper with it whenever I want. Deal with it, buddy. So, yeah, another quest will actually open up once we uh, get the right mailbox. Which is kind of hard to do, because you got to check them all. Gotta check them all. Gotta check them all. So, happy Monday to everybody. I know I said that also in the tale of Drakfu, but again, happy Monday to everybody. I hope you had a, all had a great uh, Thanksgiving weekend or Black Friday, whatever you guys were celebrating. Me, I was celebrating at home because that's what I do, and I was also just trying to get ahead of the game so I could take my holiday break. Nope, that's not it. Crap. Uh, supply crate, maybe? No... Let's go ahead and go in here, and this is actually one of the cool booby traps of Stratholme. Oh no! 
It's plagued rats! Uh oh, I, I know how to take care of these. I just speed kicked them all into oblivion! And you have to wait until it deems that you've taken care of all the rats. And off into the next session of Stratholme, the former Market Row. Okay, we're gonna go up here because I know that there's going to be a mailbox up here at the very least. Oh! Apparently I took care of one of the, uh, the bonus bosses and not e Oh yeah, Hearthsinger Forston. So let's go ahead and go into the lore of him. The culling of Stratholm claimed the lives of innumerable people whose only crime was being in the doomed city. A traveling singer and piccolo player named Forreston was one such victim. He continues to wander the city in death, unable to accept his tragic fate. So yeah, he's like one of the bonus bosses that you could take on here. Stratholm used to have a lot of bosses, and a lot of those bosses have since become, like, bonuses. You don't have to take them out, but they do still have, like, pretty cool lore to them. Is this the one? Oh. Hi there. And we have Postmaster Malone. Whee! There we go. We actually just took out the next major uh, bonus boss, which is Postmaster Malone. So let's go ahead and go into his lore really quick. <coughs> if he has any. I don't know if he does. That's the thing. Oh no, the Eye of Noxramas. So, fun facts. Nuxramas actually used to be out here until the Wrath of the Lich King, then they redid it um, for Wrath of the Lich King. It made more sense that way. But occasionally in here, you will get Eyes of Nuxramas, which were part of, of the original Stratholm. Uh, it doesn't look like Malone has anything. I would... Now, here's the thing. I may be completely in the wrong when I say this, but I've always looked at this as a reference. Oh, hi, Unforgiven. We've taken out yet another bonus boss. I've always thought of <coughs> Postmaster Malone as kind of a local reference. I've, um, uh, to explain, I used to be a fan of basketball. I'm not really anymore, uh, mainly because I'm from Utah and, uh, I was a fan of the Utah Jazz, specifically Carl Malone. So I've always looked at Postmaster Malone as like a reference to Carl Malone. I've never been able to confirm this. If somebody wants to be able to say that in the comments, I would love it. But that's, I've always looked at that as, like a nice little nod to Carmel and may, maybe for his Lakers run. I don't know, but there you go. And then we also have the Unforgiven, which we just barely took out. Wow. We're, we're just taking them out all over the place. The Unforgiven Lilia was a blade of righteousness among her people. After Arthas commanded his forces to purge the city, her sanity was ripped apart from seeing countless innocents die by her hand. She fell on her sword to escape the madness around her. And she now exists as a spectral being forever denied absolution for her heinous acts. And that is the Unforgiven, at which we dub the Unforgiven. Okay, let's keep going. There's so much to take out in Strathone, you have no idea. And this is actually the lead up into um, Deadside. So we're looping around mainly because I wanna get the post boxes, but there also is somebody you need to take out here that is part of Stratholme Live side. Oh, and actually, I can't take the uh, mailboxes anymore because I found Postmaster Malone. Used to be called the mailman, people, because he'd deliver the ball to the hoop. It's the most sports that I know. Ooh, and the Ravage Cadaver. Oh, man, we actually have come across Ravage Cadavers. Ah, that's not good. Okay. Man, this, there's so much trash in here. Let's just grab it all. We So yeah, this is kind of the start to Stratholme Deadside. Which I technically could go and do Deadside right now, but we have a we have a mission. We have a focus. Oh actually no, it won't let me. They've sealed off that portion. That's fine, I guess. All right, so let's go ahead and make our way back uh, to where the Scarlet Crusade of the Risen now reside in Stratholme. Oh, jeez. Now, technically, I could have shown you guys the culling of Stratholme first. 
Uh, but since that's a Wrath of the Lich King instant, instance, I I figure we'll we'll keep it there because it's more pivotal to Arthas' story than it is anything else. And Wrath of the Lich King deals very heavily in uh, the man that made the Lich King, or at least one half of the Lich King. There, play ghoul. Take all this stuff, and we'll kill off these play ghouls. Now, again, I apologize for my camera not being available. I'm still waiting for my replacement, so can't really do anything about that. And, oh, look, we have another boss here, which is Timmy the Cruel. Now, fun fact, I actually used to think that this was a reference to South Park, but I actually found out there's more lore to Timmy than I thought there was. Timison was infamous for his savagery on the field of battle. <coughs> Some speculate his sadism stemmed from the ceaseless bullying he endured as a child. Now reborn as a scourge monstrosity, his mind shattered. He is tormented by those memories, causing him to answer by the, to the name of uh, to the name he once loathed, Timmy. Timmy. That I, that's literally why I thought it was a South Park reference because it was Timmy the Cruel. I'm like, is this a reference to Make Love Not Warcraft? Again, it's one of those things I've never been able to confirm that it is. But no, then I found out that Tim, that Timmy the Cruel actually did have a story in. Uh, World of Warcraft. So you guys can look that up. I believe Noble has a video on it. So you guys can enjoy that. Oh, and now we are in the Risen section of Stratholme. This is where it's going to get a little interesting. I'm just going to try and clear this out as much as I can. So much stuff. Whoa! Well, Risen Guardsman, well played. Over here, we have a Risen Conjurer that has something. Oh, and I just took apart a box just by jumping on it. That's a thing. Skeletal. Oh, we still need the Risen Smith, too. I believe he's in this area. No, he's, he's in there. So let's go ahead and head on into now the encampment of the Risen and the stronghold of the Dreadlord Balnazar. The Scarlet Bastion. So here we go, entering into the Scarlet Bastion, where even more Risen await us. So they basically have undead models, but it's it's very clear that the Scarlet Crusade has been risen and not told that they are now that which they cursed. That which they that which they despised. Whee! Take care of you. And I believe in here. So here's Commander Melor, who is yet another boss that we can take on. Let's go ahead and look into him. Commander Malor. Malor and a handful of other courageous warriors risked everything to protect the Scarlet Bastion from being desecrated by the undead. Tragically, they failed. Balnazar corrupted the fearless commander into one of his servants, transforming the zealot into mockery, into a mockery of his former self. So now, again, he is an undead, <coughs> which is not what he wanted in life. Or unlife, as the case may be. <laughs> Just go ahead and kill off some of these Risen. We don't have to kill off everybody, but I'm, I am just because some of these mini-bosses are... I can't carry anymore. Uh, ...not coming to mind, like, where they are. So let's go ahead and open up this horde door, which is down into the basement, where all of the supplies are kept. <laughs> And even further we go. Is this the Risen? No, it's not. I believe the Risen Hammersmith is down here, so we need to find him. Ooh, and there's actually the blacksmithing plans that we needed. Thieves! I shall smelt your remains! And now we have killed the Risen Hammersmith. But we're going to keep on going because there is actually another guy in here. At least I think, we I think there is. I may be thinking of Scarlet Monastery, but... I'm going to check, just to be safe. Whoa! No, there is. There is, because Willy... Uh, yeah, Willy Hopebreaker is down here, so we're going to go into his lore in a second. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this. And boom. So let's go ahead and go into the lore of Willy Hopebreaker. 
Balnazar took great pleasure in leveraging the Cannon Master Willie's destructive capabilities in Undeath, calling his prized, uh, calling his prized minion by the name of Hopebreaker. The Dreadlord relishes that he was that he has twisted Willie and other Scarlet Crusaders, who so despise the undead in life, into his unwitting pawns. And so all you have to do is come down and kill Willie Hopebreaker. And unfortunately, I've run out of space. Crap. That's all right. We're just going to toss food. Because I'm not going to need that any of that stuff. Not at all. I don't use juice. Oh, don't. I've been getting rather nasty bugs recently. Okay, so now that we've gotten that taken care of, there is but one more that we need to take out. Instructor Galford. Before we face the Dreadlord himself. So yeah, you guys can expect the culling of Strathholm uh, when we actually cover Wrath of the Lich King content, but we will be treating this as a winged instance. So tomorrow you will be getting the dead side of Strathholm. And if, for people who are hoping to be able to see me roll them out on camera... I can't carry sorry, I already have it. I already got it. I technically got it for Andrea. And that worked out, I guess. I will forever be scarred by the experience, but I guess it worked out. I know, I complain a lot, but, you know, sometimes you just got to do some things. Especially for those you love. Okay, where is Of Love and Family? We are coming up on it. Oh, hi. Bye. Why don't you come on over here? Oh, look, we have a risen monk. Back to referencing the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, back to referencing the old school uh, Scarlet Cru or Scarlet Monastery that actually hinted at the monk class and everyone was like, next expansion, monk, and never happened. Until mists. All right, so this is Instructor Galford. Hi, buddy. Let's we'll go ahead and kill you. And Instructor Galford. Galford once again once took pride in caring for the Crusade's most valued documents. However, as he lay dying, he watched in horror as his precious tomes were burnt around him. Balnazar used his painful memory to imbue his servant with fiery power that ravaged Galford in life. So now we can actually grab his stuff, and we will. I'm not going to worry about the enchants or the righteous orb, though. And here is the... Of love and family. Ah, oh, too many Christmas. This is an older quest, so it doesn't uh, just go off into a magic bag of holding somewhere. And of course, here is the Dreadlord Balnazar. Now, again, if you've been playing Legion and you're a paladin, if you've done the Ashbringer quest, you have seen Balnazar uh, recently. So he's had some recent actions. Let's go ahead and go into the lore of Balnazar, the Dreadlord. <laughs> Balnazar has never tasted true death, but he has suffered bitter defeat. After the cataclysm rocked the world, he, slatter, he slaughtered the Scarlet Crusaders in Stratholm and transformed them into the undead creatures they once hated. The Dreadlord now plots his machinations for vengeance upon Azeroth. Oh my goodness. So let's go ahead and take him on. Hi, Balnazar! I'm not a paladin, but will I do? Yay, we got some snazzy new items that we will never use. Because that's the way it goes. Get rid of all these truffles and all that stuff so we can grab it. And, of course, we can also turn in our quests here. Well done, heroes. Balnazar had been a threat for far too long. He had a hand in the Scourge and the Scarlet Crusade, two of our most difficult foes. The Risen may have tipped the balance against us. Uh, crap. Had they time to fester. Regrettably, Balnazar is not yet finished. Defeating a Dreadlord is the mortal uh, in the mortal plane only sends it back to the Twisting Nether. He will be back one day. Perhaps even working again with his brothers, Varimothris and Deathrock. For now, we have regained uh, control over half, of his, uh, over half of Stratholm and should rejoice for that. The former Bastion of the Silver Hand is back in the hands... Of its rightful owners. Countless treasures to the Order reside here, and we now have a fortified location to launch our next assault. That is where you come in, heroes. The war for Stratholm is not yet over. Leave this area and travel east to the East Wall Gate. 
Crap, I actually need to look for what I was saying before. It is the servant's entrance to the city, and the last remaining opening into Lord Arius Rivendare's scourge-infested domain. If we defeat him, Stratholme will be ours once more. I will meet you in Alonza's chapel. It is the holy place where, where Uther the Lightbringer was ordained into the Silver Hand. It is the only building the scourge cannot touch, and will be our forward base of operations in that half of the city. With your help, Stratholme will become the capital of the light, and a new beginning for Lordaeron. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn in all the quests that we have. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go ahead and turn in the Dreadlord Balnazar. It's good we stopped Balnazar now. Before long, his army would have overtaken all of Stratholme, giving him a powerful center for his un new unholy empire. And so we can claim a cloak, or we'll go ahead and claim that. Of course I'm running out of inventory, because that's how things go for me right now. Let's go ahead and claim this one. Boom. Okay, so we now have that. And of love and family. The painting, Drakfu. Do you have the painting? Master Fordring will be glad beyond measure to see this painting again. Uh, Retribution. You may have this as a suitable reward. I found it nestled in the armor of one of the Scourge here. Okay, and then we also have Packmaster Stonebruiser. Did you find any? Ah, truly, you have uncovered the stuff of legends. It is nearly impossible to place a value on this historical tobacco. Here, have a few coins. If it's that legendary, why don't I get a, an item for it? Okay, whatever, dude. Watch, get her back. Enjoy puffing. Okay, so, oh. Wilhelm. Nicely done, lad. Without them new weapons, they're just as easy to kill as they were them when they were alive. Alright, so we have now turned in all the quests, and that actually does it for the main gate of Stratholm. When we get back tomorrow, we will be taking on the service entrance, otherwise known as Stratholm Deadside. We'll see you guys next time.